so this will be a quick reference video for replacing the transmission mount in the 93 through 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This right here is a 96 Jeep ZJ with the 5.2 liter V8 engine followed by the 44 RE transmission. But the process will be a little different for Jeeps with the 4 liter engines. You want to first begin by chalking the front wheels so the Jeep doesn't roll forward. Then shift the transmission into neutral which relieves tension and jack up the rear end and support it with jack stands. The transmission mount is also known as the anchor and it secures the transmission to the frame via the midsection cross member. It has a steel body with a rubber insert that absorbs road shocks and dampens vibration. This one is held in place by one large bolt through the body and four smaller fasteners attaching it to the cross member. I'll be using the mount bracket that's attached to the transmission located just behind the transmission pan as a lifting point in order to support the transmission once the mount has been removed. I'm using my floor jack with a piece of wood. We're not trying to lift the vehicle by the transmission. We just want to roll it in and set it in place for right now. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts from the cross member. Then lift the transmission so you can get to the large bolt that's going through the middle. You'll need an 18 millimeter wrench to hold this nut still. And for the bolt head, I'll be using an 18 millimeter swivel socket followed by a 12 inch extension. You can always jack up the transmission some more, which will make removal easier, but I'm laying down and don't feel like moving over there. So you're gonna watch me struggle. When this mount goes bad, it can cause excessive sway from your transmission. You may even get a clunk when shifting gears and even vibration due to a slouch transmission, which affects your driveline angles. It's important that you make sure the old fastener can thread into the new part before installation. And also make sure that you put this part back in with this circle indicator facing towards the front of the Jeep. Before we drop the anchor back into its position on the cross member, we're going to start our threads just to make sure everything aligns properly. <laughs> 